everyone. Uh, this is Mac Rashi from CEO Chairman uh, Cricket Council USA. I have um, CCUSA Tournament Directors and Rules Regulations uh, Guidelines, Mr. Zafar Shah, which is going to read the rules and regulation today. I'll let you know the tournaments, how they're going to play after uh, Code 19 rules has been changed. A lot of things has been changed uh, after the coronavirus situations and health cautions. So he is here. He's going to help uh, to read all the rules regulation to the coming up tournament. And after the rules regulation, we have the Ann Thomas, a certified nurse. Also, he is the Cricket Council USA tournament uh, field directors. He's going to be on the reading the rules regulation. We like to follow his direction during the games and tournament MAC T10 at the stadium. Just follow the rules. It's safety for you and safety for others and let's play cricket. Thank you, guys. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Shah Zafar, uh, Tournament Director for Cricket Council USA. Uh, I am here to uh, present you the um, rule summary of the T10 tournament that um, teams are coming to participate the, uh, throughout the, um, uh, from throughout the uh, USA. Uh, rule summary is for the all the teams uh, they are participating to acknowledge. Uh, tournament format is a 10 over uh, per inning, round robin matches. 10 players per side are permitted to uh, play. Bowlers can bowl up to two overs maximum per inning. No power play overs and no fielding restrictions. Uh, total match time is uh, 90 minutes. That includes 40 minutes per inning plus 10 minutes inning break. Super sub. Super sub is allowed in this tournament. Super sub uh, team can team are required to name the super sub uh, before the toss to the umpire and the notify the other team captain. The super sub will replace any player at any point in the game. And, and it, will, um, it will take over the substitute player batting and bowling uh, duties and stats in the game. So, for example, if the bowler has bowled one over and he has already batted and you're bringing in a super sub, he can only bowl one over. But the, if the, uh, you're fielding first and he has the player you're substituting has not bat, then he will bowl uh, two overs and he can bat. If the players have bowled, uh, uh, and the, once the super sub has entered the game, he cannot be replaced with the substitute player, and substitute player cannot re-enter the match again. Means that there's only one swap, and that swap can happen, and the player that gone out cannot come back in, and the super sub that comes in cannot go out and be replaced with another sub. Super over will be used to break the tie, and Duckworth Lewis will be used for all interrupted matches. So these are the rule summary of the uh, of the tournament that is going to uh, be played. And uh, I hope that I have summarized it in a, such a way that uh, very simple and uh, enjoyable time. Uh, now I'm going to go over the uh, some uh, safety uh, uh, expect of the game because we are going through the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and in context of the COVID-19 pandemic we have made some uh, safety uh, safe play cricket guidelines and uh, these guidelines apply to all player coaches umpire training staff management uh, of the uh, uh, of the CCUSA and uh, all the teams and the spectators so uh, the safety first. Uh, in the safety uh, uh, distance, I would uh, say that the distance of two meters or six feet must be maintained at all time. Uh, no close gathering, avoid close gathering, use the face mask if it's manageable. Hand wash when possible, use sanitizer or the dis disinfection wipes when it's possible, avoid touching eyes and nose and mouth, covering your mouth when coughing, and uh, anyone feeling sick of, at any time, before the play or during the play, please go home and stay home. 
do not come and risk uh, other people at the field. While you are on the field, it is recommended the player to use the face mark when you are off the field. When you are off the field, it is recommended that you use the mask and stay six feet apart in the in the thing. No Sylvia, no Sylvia or the sweat to be used on shining the ball while you're sitting outside or practice or during the game. No touching or sharing of other player personal equipment. This is very important. You touch sometimes helmet because it goes on the head and it's close to the face. Uh, the gloves, uh, wiki keeping gloves, inners, uh, cricket balls, any pads, anything that's a personal equipment should not be touched, even though they are sitting uh, outside and uh, in the pavilion. But those are personal equipment, so keep your per personal equipment at distance and do not touch other people's personal, personal equipment. All players should bring their own private water bottle if possible, just to uh, make sure that. Uh, and then mark them. There must be no sharing of water on and off the field of the play. So if the water bottle going into the field or people coming out and sometimes they take a, take a sip and give it to other people, that's very dangerous. Don't do that. If possible, clearly label your water bottle with your name on it. There must be no spinning on, the, on and off the field while you know sitting on the uh, outside as a batsman or on the field while you're running. Uh, all replacement cricket ball must be sanitized before being given to the umpire. So if the ball gets lost and goes or goes somewhere and cannot be found, and the and the replacement ball is coming in, it must be sanitized. And you, as a player, uh, make sure that they are sanitized before you touch it. And umpires should also make sure that they are sanitized before they get it. Uh, batting side player, while waiting for their uh, batting, sitting, uh, don't sit too close and uh, make sure you have a distance. Uh, scorers, especially, don't sit in a crowd. Stay six feet apart whenever you're sitting from the players and gathering and the commentators to stay apart. When you are in the commentary box, make sure you're alone or if you're serving somebody, there's a social distance between you. The umpire, ma umpire must maintain social distance while they're off the field. So if umpire coming to the game and they are talking to the captain, outside the field for nomination of the player or something, make sure there's a six week di distance uh, between you and the other people while you're speaking, wear the mask, empires especially wear the mask. And uh, so these are the very, very important outfield, um, off the field uh, instructions. I'm going on to the on field instructions. On the field, players shall not be doing the celebration, like close celebration, high five, um, you know, patting on the back or something, when you're getting close, it puts you on the risk. So no celebration on the thing. We have to adopt the new circumstances that we're going through. So uh, your cooperation is very important. Players and umpires must, must keep six feet distant all, all time on the field. Meaning that you are fielding, you're coming down there, you're giving a, a cap to the umpires. Well, I'm gonna come and address that later. Uh, no salvia or sweat to be used on shining the ball while you are as a bowler or a fielder or something. Do not, uh, you know, tamper the ball with the salvia or, or the sweat, right? Umpires are not going to hold any personal equipment on the field. Okay? This is for safety precaution, and I think I have addressed that into the umpire section also. The players should not approach the, um, approach the umpires and take my sweater or take my jacket or take my hat or or anything. Um, all wicket keepers shall maintain at least two feet from the stumps or six feet from the batsman. Batsman usually in a four feet distance while you are keeping, but when you're coming closer to the closer to the keeping, that distance is almost about four feet. So go back two more feet to make sure there's a six feet distance between that because if the batsman cough or something without because he's wearing a helmet, he cannot put his hand on it, and then you are leaning on it then it's a dangerous that you might get those uh, some of the germs, right? No sharing of wicket keeper gloves or inner. So if you are changing the wicket keeper during the game, you got to get your own equipment and you put it on. You're not going to have the equipment, uh, you, it's the same equipment the, the wicket keepers was wearing and it takes off and give it to you. Uh, no handshaking, embracing, high five, hugging and fist bump. There must be no spinning on the field while fielding or batting, right? 
the this is very important because if you're spinning on it and somebody steps on it means that that germs are going to go into the shoes and when he goes outside the walk it may carry on with him right and you never know what else can be done for umpires very important umpire wears the mask umpire always keep a sanitizer in his pocket or disinfection disinfection wipes to clean their hand as as needed after over whatever touching the ball you make sure you clean your hand before touch the ball and after touching the ball. Empire, make sure that all fielders are at all time have a six feet dip distance while the fielding placements is done. So if the especially in the especially in the uh, in the slip corridor where usually is a very close uh, approximately of uh, one meter uh, three feet the shot to be two uh, six feet. So these are the adjustments the player have to or the team has to adjust. Empire, Empire should also enforce no salvia, no sweat, uh, and use sanitizer dis and disinfection to clean the ball when it's possible. And, uh, and breach of uh, uh, breach of the guidelines shall result into some penalties. Means that empires, if it feels that during the game you are breaching these guidelines, means that you're putting everybody else at the risk. And empire is going to give you the warning and five run penalties should give it a five fire and penalties and a final warning. And next time you do, umpire should take you out of the game, right? And there will be no replacement for those players. It's very important because as you probably realize that I'm emphasizing a lot on the salvia, a lot on the sweats, and perhaps repeating some of the things because CCUSA tournaments, we really care about your and your player's safety first. And this is why we're emphasizing at the same time we want to provide you the opportunity to play cricket. Empire to ensure that teams are following following guidelines. Empire should not carry or hold any personal equipment, including the cap, water, uh, well, not water, water, but the cap, sweater, towels, or anything. Empire should ensure, ensure that both both captain confirm that the players they are they are participating do not have any symptoms, do not have any sickness, right? And if or illness of any type, even the cough or flu or something. If that happens, then the captain should not pardon, allow that person to participate. There will be a waiver form sending out to you in, in particularly the same manner, which indicates that you are taking a risk to participate in the tournament. So please sign the waiver form and it's captain responsibility to make sure the sick people are not around the people uh, who are participating. And Empire will also enforce the no celebration guideline. So it's very clear, if somebody breach, umpire is going to give him a warning, five run penalty, and then the second second warning is the person is gonna be out because we need to protect the, uh, uh, and, and uh, we need to protect the safety of the other players. There's also an isolation plan if the individual playing the match becomes ill during the game in the field or outside the field. In this case, it applies, this, this particular isolation plan applies to everyone who is participating or helping out as a volunteer, a commentator, a spectator, whoever. Unwell individual must be isolated to re and removed from the area immediately. There's no question, no if, no buts. The safety is important. Local health authority should be notified the person uh, is sick and as soon as possible, Individual who is sick individual sh must be advised to quarantine himself or herself and visit the local hospital for testing as soon as possible. Affected area should be uh, cordoned off and clean it if possible. And all participating uh, participant attending shall be advised to self isolate and monitor for a few days, uh, 14 days or whatever it is, it is to make sure that you are safe. Right. So these are the Summary of the guidelines, these papers will be available on site if somebody wants to read it and, and go over it to make sure you had, I have with me Ian Thomas. Ian Thomas uh, is the uh, registered nurse and uh, he will be the coordinator uh, and monitoring the situation at the ground. And so please respect him and respect all those volunteers who are going to be uh, participating to help you play the cricket. And uh, so their advice is good. And we all have to cooperate and we all have to recognize this is not the normal condition we are playing the cricket. 
these are the uh, conditions that we have to adjust to it. And I wish you all the best and uh, enjoy as much as you can. And thank to the uh, Cricket Council USA for organizing the uh, start of the cricket season tournament where people can come and participate. Perhaps this is a tournament where people will get used to it and set example for the future tournaments to play. My name is Ian Thomas and I'm also a registered nurse. So not do I just only play the game of cricket. You know, it's a game that I love and I really have a deep passion for cricket, but I also have a deep passion for healthcare. And just as Shaw would have outlined, um, safety comes first. So as much as I love cricket, I am bas basically a safety advocate. And meaning basically with just listening as Shaw went over all those rules, it was just like I'm listening to somebody from the CDC. You know, the rules, they are clear. They're eligible in writing, so we can see them. It will be available to every single player. So I will be present at the field of play, and every player is going to have to adhere by all the rules that, and guidelines that have been read out here today. You know, those are guidelines that are implemented by the CDC, uh, Center for Disease Control. There's also guidelines that is put in by Mohamed Qureshi in terms of the league itself, the cricket league. So we are abiding by the, um, the rules of the CDC and the rules of the cricket governing body. So I'm very pleased that I am part of this organization, Cricket Council USA. You know, It has really bring cricket to another dimension. In that, you know, it's not just about us playing the game of cricket, but it's also about the safety of the players, the safety of our family, and the safety of our spectators and everyone that will be participating in this competition. And I just like to go over a few things, you know, because working hospital setting, you know, these are some of the very same rules that would have given to a patient family members, the wider community, and it's the same rules that have been given worldwide, basically. So the rules are there. It's all over the media. And they're clear. And as I said, we just going to abide by it. The ones that I really love, and I'll go over, is the fact that you're having your personal protective um, gears for cricket. There will be no shearing. We're not allowed to shear gears any at all. The reason being, we're sweating in them, we're touching them, we're, oh, oh, oh. we're basically in contact with our gears. So we don't want to have shearing. I know over the years of playing the game of cricket, somebody may show up at the game and they'll borrow some on gears. This is a time that we can't have it based on the pandemic and the nature of the disease that we're, we're facing. So that is very important, guys. When you come to the field, you have your own gears. We're not going to be shearing gears. Again, it was mentioned about the washing of the hands. We can stress how important that is, washing your hands. You know, we don't want to have dirty hands. The very important thing to go over is the touching of the mouth, the nose, and the eyes. Reason being, these are ports of entry, and we don't want to have that going on. You know, on the field of play, we're going to have the safe distance. We understand, you know, the, the biggest part of it is a slip card in it. But guess what? Six feet. For this game, we love the game, we want to play the game, that's more than okay. So with all the guidelines that have been given here today, I personally will be at the field and I'll ensure that these rules are abide by. And as you say, if somebody breaks the rule, then there's going to be penalty. And somebody may be taken out of the game you know, if they're not able to adhere by those rules and regulations. The umpire themselves, will also play a big part in it. But I'm saying, let us as individuals play our part in protecting ourselves and protecting our loved ones, our family, and our friends. And the next part that I have to go over again, the part is, if you're sick, please stay home. And with this, you won't miss the game. You won't miss a ball. And we just got to give a big shout out to Sir Mohammed Kriyeshi, Mark himself, in that he will be bringing these games live. So you'll be able to watch these games on Mac TV, MacTV.com. If you're a Facebook follower, go onto Facebook, you'll find us. If you go onto YouTube, you'll find us. 
you go on to Instagram, you'll find us. So don't feel like you'll be missing the game. So if you're sick, we ask that you stay home. If you're at the game and you're feeling ill, please let us know about it so we get you the necessary medical assistance. Let us get you to have medical treatment at least. Because guess what? It's not about just us. It's about the family and the people we love and care about. And we all love the game of cricket and we want to see it play. But we also want to make sure we abide by these rules and these regulations that would be implemented just for safety measures. So I can't stress enough how important it is in terms of the safety of our players, the safety of our spectators, the safety of our friends and our family. So let's just come out and play a very good game of cricket. Enjoy the game. You know, there's a little changes and we just got to adapt to the changes because it's for the better of everyone. Mm -hmm.